Welcome to the world of physics problems. In this particular video, we're going to talk about the Coulomb force and the gravitational force between an electron and a proton, or uh, we say in a hydrogen atom. Hydrogen atom, we have an electron and we have a proton. And we're going to find out the electrical force or the Coulomb force between electron and proton. And at the same time, we're going to calculate the gravitational force between the electron and the proton. Good. And finally, we're going to compare the strength or the magnitude of the electrical force with the, the gravitational force. So here are the few things you need to know or you can find out from any physics book. We know the charge of the electron is negative 1.6 to the 10 to the negative 19 coulomb. The charge of the proton is exactly the same as the charge of the the electron but it does have the positive sign. The mass of the proton is 9.11, 9.11 to the 10 to the 11 kilogram and similarly the mass of the electron is 1.67 to 10 to the 27 kilogram. Now let's calculate the uh, let's calculate the electrical force which we also call the Coulomb force too so the force it can be given which is electrical force can be given as K Q1, the magnitude of Q2 divided by R squared. So you see here, this is the charge of the electron, this is the charge of the proton, and the separation. So the K is a constant here. K is a constant and the value of the K is 8.99 times 10 to the 9 Newton meter square per Coulomb square. Now it's just going to plug all the value here. 8.99 to the 10 to the 9 charge of the less this is for the electron electron and this is for the proton the charge of the electron is and this is the magnitude so we have 1.610 to the minus 19 I'm just putting the negative sign here and then 1.6 10 to the negative 10 to the 19 so we just have the k magnitude value of k which is a constant, and just plug in the, the charge of the electron and the charge of the proton. And you see this is just the magnitude of the force because we have taken the, the absolute value. And the distance between them is 5.310 to the 11 meter, and this is a square. So you just have to use the, the, the number. You just have to plug in all the numbers here. Once you plug in all the numbers and just do all the math, the answer you will get is 8.2 10 to the minus 9 Newton. So this is your electrical force between an electron and a proton. Now let's do for the, uh, let's calculate the gravitational force. Gravitational force. So the gravitational force is 
is exactly the similar form g m1 m2 over r squared and remember m1 and m these are the masses so this is always positive so this one is let's say the mass of the electron and this is the mass of the proton so we're just plugging all the values here force and this is due to the gravitation so just plug in g so the force due to the gravitational force the value of g you need to remember this value which is 6.67 10 to the minus 27 and the unit is newton meter square per kilogram square okay and then you have to find out look for the mass of the electron which is 1.67 10 to the 27. And the same way we have to plug in the mass of the proton, which is 9.11 10 to the 11 kilogram. This is also kilogram. And then we have the distance, the distance is 5.3 10 to the 11 square. So you just have to do the math here. Once you do the math, the answer you will get is the force due to this answer you will get is 3.6 10 to the minus 47 Newton. This is how much you get. So I'm just raising this one, and you remember, so this kg square is cancelled out of this kilogram and kilogram, and, the, and you have the distance square, r of the meter square is cancelled out of the meter square, so, so the only unit that is remaining is the newton. So you, you find it out the electrical force, and we find out the, the gravitational force. Now let's take the ratio, the ratio. Force, electrical force divided by the gravitational force. So if you do the math, 8.2, 10 to the 9 divided by 3.6, 10 to the minus 47, you will get approximately 2, 10 to the 39. So what do you see here? So this one does not have a unit, but what does it tell you? The electrical force is 10 to 39 times larger than the gravitational force. So this, the electrical force is very, very, very larger than the gravitational force. So when we're talking about, or when we're calculating about the electrical force, we ignore the gravitational force. What is the reason? The reason is the electrical force is much, much, much greater than the gravitational force. Or in other words, the gravitational force is negligible in comparison to the electrical force. Thank you so much.